Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. We invite you to join in prayer with your Catholic neighbors and friends as we celebrate the Eucharist. of our God be with you all. We have a long-standing custom in our faith and in our practice. But we come as we are and we trust the Lord will lead us closer to the goodness and love and as needed the forgiveness of the Lord. So we pause for a moment and trust in God's peace and God's forgiveness in our midst, in our community. <clears throat> you gather us as your people, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You continue. To call, or clo call us closer to our eternal life, which you promise. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And you continue to ask us to live in your spirit, especially in the way that we approach one another with deep respect and concern. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our failings and lead us home to everlasting life. Yeah. And on this day in which we commemorate the life of Saint Benedict, the founder of the Benedictines, let us pray. <clears throat> O oh God, it was you who made the abbot, St. Benedict, an outstanding master in the school of divine service. Grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. And we ask all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our God with us forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands, turning your ear to wisdom, inclining your heart to understanding, Yes, if you call to intelligence and to understanding, raise your voice. If you seek her like silver and like hidden treasures, search her out, then will you understand the fear of the Lord. The knowledge of God you will find. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He has counsel in store for the upright. He is the shield of those who walk honestly, guarding the paths of justice, protecting the way of his pious ones. Then will you understand rectitude and justice, honesty, every good path. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, Taste and See the Goodness of the Lord. They taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me 
and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from his distress, he saved him. Haste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Haste and see the goodness of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the gospel according to Matthew. And then St. Peter said to Jesus, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? And Jesus said to them, amen. I say to you that you have followed me in the new age when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory you yourselves will sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my sake will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> I'm a native Texan. However, I've lived in Louisiana more years than any other one single place. And many years ago, when I was first ordained, I was in Lacombe, Louisiana, where we Redemptorists had a community which first served a prep seminary, high school level seminary. <clears throat> and then it morphed, it kind of grew, it became a regional high school for boys in Lacombe. In that time, I came to know the Benedictine monks at St. Joseph's Abbey in Covington, which wasn't terribly near, but it wasn't terribly far away either. And in fact, Father Pius Lartigue agreed to be my spiritual director. I guess I still have a very warm spot in my own heart for Pius Lartigue and I grew in appreciation through him of the sons of St. Benedict whose feast we're here to celebrate today. What about Benedict? Well, Benedict lived in the late 400s and early 500s. And he composed a rule of life which is really famous in our Catholic tradition because it's one of the finest commentaries on how to take the gospel and bring it down to ground level and how to 
let it ring within us in a real compassionate way. In fact, that rule of life has actually been adopted or almost adopted many times word for word in other religious communities which have been founded after the Benedictines. That rule was known as the holy rule, and that's a term that has kind of been given to it down through these many years in our Catholic tradition. There's one famous section about that holy rule or the rule, the Benedictine rule. And actually, it's a commentary on the way Jesus has asked us to live in any kind of interactive community where we're really close together, we're bonded together in a family, perhaps in another religious community such as my own, the Redemptress, or in a parish. The rule of St. Benedict really has something to say to all of us because it's so basic and yet so beautiful and so inviting. Here is what St. Benedict wrote. And I always look upon this section of the rule of St. Benedict as an invitation to be effective and compassionate human beings. Effective and genuine. Here's what Benedict wrote. Have within yourselves the practice of love of one another. What I mean is this, maintain reverence. Reverence for others even more than for yourself. Support with unlimited patience the weaknesses of others, both their bodily, sometimes physical weakness, especially as one advances in old age, as well as the spiritual shortcomings that any one of us carry within ourselves. Put a lot of effort into that respect, into that reverence which you have for others whom the Lord sends to you. And Benedict continues, I pray that all of you decide to build up the well-being of others, even before your own well-being. Put into practice a sincere love for those you call your brothers and your sisters. Live always with a great reverence and love for your God, and let that love be deep-rooted. Let it be humble. And then prefer absolutely nothing to Jesus Christ. For it is he who is transporting all of us into life eternal. Powerful words, and I hope and pray they will continue to kind of shake me down to my toenails sometimes when I feel like I know better than that guy, or I can do it better. And through the prayer and the influence of St. Benedict, I might just back off and say, I too need redemption and renewal in the person of Jesus Christ. So let us stand, please. And we do have some prepared prayer of the faithful, our petitions of the community for this day. <clears throat> For the evangelizing mission of the church, that it continues to bear fruit in every corner of the world, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our military personnel serving around the world, that they may continue to strive to give the freedom that our country enjoys, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling, may they be protected and kept safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations, may the Lord call more priests, religious, deacons, 
and lay ministers to be evangelizers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's mercy and provisions for those recovering from the recent flooding and for protection of life and property for future weather events, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this feast of St. Benedict, Stir up in your church, O Lord, the spirit that animated St. Benedict. Fill us with your Holy Spirit in order that we may learn to love what he loved and practice what he taught. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our television and diocesan community, may we cast out harmful spirits and share in God's abundant harvest of love and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they who pass from this life be comforted in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our intentions and the special intentions of others through Jesus. And all of us here in Louisiana on this particular day are keeping an eye on the tropical depression or the tropical storm. And we pray that the Lord will be with us and spare us any major effects of that storm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our God, as you have cared for us and brought us to this moment, in our following of Christ. May you continue to fill our hearts with the spirit of Benedict and lead us all forward to eternal life as Jesus has promised. And we ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we come with our bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, and it will become for us the bread of our life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we come with our wine to offer, fruit of our vines and work of many human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. And together we pray over the gifts that they and we and all of our lives may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Look kindly, Lord, upon these offerings placed on the altar, which we bring to you in honor of St. Benedict, and grant that following his example in our seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and in your peace, making our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks now to this Lord, our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to come and give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fru fruitful with strength ever new, and you offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, the great example of saints lends us courage, and their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, of all life, with all the angels and the saints, we give you thanks, and in exultation we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord God, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of your Holy Spirit, you give life to all things. You make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord God, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we bring to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we are celebrating these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. And look, we pray upon this oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. And grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain that inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Benedict, and with all the other saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all of our world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, along with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael Jared, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed sisters and brothers, to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, and there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on our world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, peace I leave you and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We'll take a few moments to share the peace of Christ all around. Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Holy Communion is now distributed to those Catholics who are able to receive Christ in the sacrament. Those who cannot be present, but are part of our worship by means of television, are invited to make a spiritual communion. Ask Christ to come to you with his blessing and nourish you with his spirit. Let us pray.
As we have received the pledge of eternal life, we am humbly ask you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs, loving one another with fervent charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for celebrating Eucharist together. Let us go in peace. Thank you for sharing in our presentation of the Mass. The Mass is brought to you as a service of Catholic Life Television, a ministry of the Diocese of Baton Rouge. Your participation, your prayers, and your support make this ministry possible. We'd like to hear from you. Please write us at Catholic Life Television, Post Office Box 3015, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70821.